downtown, we live. Oh, what a feeling when it's go time. I go lie, lie from the kitchen with a ditch. Get your dad for a whipping. Whip a brick when you break the whole brick down. This way to the kitchen. That glaze frost wrist. How you fucking all these bitches? But I don't love none of these bitches. Yes, sir, man. Hey. Man, this is crazy, man. Hey, hold on. Hold I'm on. stoked. No, you got to <laughs> nah. chill. I, yeah, I'm super stoked too. But before, before we get into that, right? because we do got a special guest, but before we get into that, yes, yeah. we got to really, you know, we going to, we got to address this big elephant in the room. Um, I don't, I don't forget what episode this is, whatever. About five. I think episode five. It doesn't really matter. Smash yeah. and Dash back at it again, but yes, man. Sir. Flowers are deserved to be right. given at this moment. I want to say congratulations to my Twinsky yes, on the Hall of Fame. Um, they, it's not final yet, but he is now eligible to be, you know, voted into the Hall of Fame. Nominated. Which nominated. He's nominated. So, like, um, where we come from, y'all, this is something that we've been, we wanted our whole lives. So now that we are um, in this situation, um, Bro, how does it feel? Feel great, man. You know, it's just something like when you playing this game, when you playing in the backyard, like the same thing. I don't care if it's football, basketball, and you know we all went through those things where it's like, oh, it's three seconds left on the clock, yes, three, sir. two, one, game yeah, winner, it. Uh, hand me the ball, throw it, game winning touchdown, all that type of thing. Like when you get into these sports and you rocking out and this and that, like if you Hall of Fame, like. It gets no bigger than that. Like that's the top of the top. Know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So it's, it gets no bigger than that. So like, man, you know, I'm excited about it. Um, you know, I love it. But at the end of the day, it's just sitting around. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. Like I, I believe where it's I gonna came, happen. Though. Yeah, gonna yeah. Happen. yeah. But where I came from, like, so just be nominated. Yeah. Like, know what I'm saying? I it understand. did. I did. Just be saying. nominated, but. You know right. what it is, what it is. I respect it. I like I to speak it. things into the universe, so it's going to happen. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. What, what better way to, you know what I'm saying, to start things off than with our little brother. And we, you know, this is our, for real, we love this dude. Like, I don't yeah. know what, you know, y'all might have thought, but this is our brother. We call him Twizzy F. Yes, yeah, I man. call him With Me. Yeah, yes, bro. Because he stay with me. I'm yes, with you, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twizzy, what's up, baby? What's up, big bro? How you Appreciate y'all for having Brother, me, man. Let me Hat just man. tap in on this, man. I'm so stoked, man. This man, like, he don't even know, man. Right. He might do no. This shit go back, man. Yeah, for real. It go back to me, like, pulling up, getting on a tour bus. You know what I'm saying with Tunchi, and I'm seeing little twist in here, and then. To me being in Houston and Lil Twist pulling up on me, like, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Young Moolah, yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Man, My listen, own. I got a story. CJ was one of the first celebrities. Lil Wayne, my brother, that's amazing. Everybody knew that. But CJ was one of the first celebrities that I would call around my homies and shit. Just to let my homies know I had niggas' numbers and shit. Like, yo, I'm about to call Chris Johnson. <laughs> See, I was call CJ picked up every time, man. You know my <laughs> brother. Never let me down. My I don't brother. think people understand that. Like, I get what you're saying. Because I used to try to do that with Snoop when I was in, in college. But, bro, when you can call somebody like CJ2K and he actually what? pick up. All my homies played sports. So <laughs> yeah. that was huge. I'm yeah, like, I'm about bro. to call Chris Johnson. <laughs> Like, yeah. no, you ain't. Exactly. They Call that nigga. My nigga answer. Yeah. What's up? That's so, what's up, man. Hall of Fame, we on the way, baby. We on the way. We definitely run into it, man. We on the way. Twizzy. What's up, man? man? Yeah. Growing up, bro, you. I mean, obviously, you on growing up uh, hip-hop. Yeah. It's obviously well-deserved. I mean, you are the Prince of Young Moolah. We all know that. Um, yes, sir. What's crazy about this is uh, you've been doing this for... I don't know how how old are you now, bro? So, twenty nine. But you clearly been doing it for twenty years then. Yeah, yeah. So, for real. <laughs> so for real. Yeah. How does that feel? You a real life vet in the game. I mean, people might not listen. If young, if if, if Tunchi, this is Tunchi Lee, y'all. We talking about it's, if he's stamping it, then clearly I'm stamping it. No, so for like, sure, sure. How does it feel, man, to grow up, you know, in that lifestyle? Man, it's been amazing. It's been a blessing. Uh, I've always just wanted to rap. I never knew how it would turn out, um, but 
since a kid, it's always been like a progress. I've always seen like elevation. Like yes, sir. started rapping at seven, had the number one song in Dallas when I was ten, and at fourteen, here come Lil Wayne. Mm, yeah. And and since then, it's been elevation. It's been trials and tribulations, but it's been elevation since then. So it's been amazing. Trials and tribulations, yeah. John. What you know about some trials and tribulations? It's yeah. crazy that you speak on that because it kind of relates to sports. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you started rapping at eight, nine years old. Like, we started playing ball around that time. Like, That's you right. know, just practicing, getting things together. Then 14, you know, high school time in high school. That's what trying to get real. a scholarship right. to go to college, to play ball, to make it to the league. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so we went through some of those same things, trials and tribulation, bumps in the road. Yeah. You may got hurt this year or could be politics this year, like just different yeah. things. So like, it's like, what are some of the things like that you did for yourself? Like when some of those bumps in the road came and different trials and tribulations, like just to make you make yourself stay focused and like yeah. keep it going. Uh, with mine, one of the main things was just to try not to pay attention to what the media was saying. Right. Uh, when I came in onto Young Money, it was it it was a it was an amazing experience from the very beginning. And then I got very close friends with little Justin Bieber, and then the, the politics changed of everything. Politics. Now Man, he was with Lil Wayne and Justin Bieber. Now I become a household name, and I'm on TMZ, and there was a lot of things that they was printing about me that I just had to not pay attention to it, because yeah. if I would have got caught up in it, uh, I probably would have been somebody depressed or something. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah we, we know depression is real, but, bro, like, oh, like I'm, I'm going to piggyback off of you a little bit. When you say, like, you pl been rapping since seven. We obviously been playing football since seven. Like, I don't think people understand or respect the grind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I... What do you think that people fail to realize in a sense? Because everybody be like, man, you ain't no rapper. Like, give it up. At, at seven, you knew you wanted to do this. And right. clearly it paid off. Right. So for some of these other people around the world, like, they'll be telling their kids or might tell their son or something, like, man, stop doing that. It ain't going to pay off. Like, No, that happened to me so much, <laughs> bro. That happened to me so much. Like I said, I had the number one song in Dallas when I was 10. Mm, yeah. So, um from 10, I got signed to Lil Wayne when I was 14, so that's four years in a mix. So from 10 of my song being number one yeah. in Dallas to 14, it was so many people in those four years. Like, mm. you still doing it? Like, what you yeah. what you doing? Like, and yeah. I would always tell him, I'm going to make it. And I didn't know Lil Wayne was coming. I didn't know. <laughs> Had and no I, idea. And, it, and God did. God did. God did. God did. God did it. And it popped up just like that. But no, what I would say to those little kids... Don't listen to nobody that's telling you anything about what you can't do. Right. It's the most cliche thing of just saying that you can do anything you put your mind to, but from living off of experience, it's really the truth. Right, right, yeah. right. Like, and the thing with y'all, like, you know shit, I done been around young money, you know, and it's like I kind of compare y'all to, well, I compare them. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to necessarily say y'all because... Young money is young money. Yeah. But to like Alabama, as far as college football, right? Ooh, I like when that. I'm speaking about y'all roster, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Y'all got a roster. So a lot of athletes, like going to Alabama, you got to understand, like, you got to wait your turn. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you might go, you might be the number one player in the nation. At your position, say you play receiver or running back, mm -hmm. you might be the number one player at your position, but when you get to Alabama, like they might have had two or three guys that was number one in the nation yeah. before, before they got, got there. there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like when you talk about Young Money, you got Nicky, you got Drake, and that's, that's you got all those guys. You know what I'm saying? And you got to think, I didn't see you come from from it's Twizzy crazy, with the mohawk. It's crazy how you put that. It's crazy how you put yeah. it because that's exactly how it was, in, especially in the beginning days. Uh, like, um, just a funny inside Young Money story. I was signed to Young Money before Drake. Talk to right. Me. So when Drake came uh, and we all met him, like, at the Millie video shoot, and, and I knew how much everyone loved him. 
Oh, so I'm that was just, your first time meeting him? That was at, my first time meeting him. Okay. Wayne had heard his music. I think Wayne had met him already, but that was a lot of our first time meeting Drake. Mm. And um, he came all well put together with headshots and shit and a <laughs> manila <laughs> folder and shit. And, um, but anyway, I, I, I thought since I was there, I should come first. And right. when I knew Drake was coming off first, even knowing how good he was, I would be so I was so mad. I used to diss Drake all the time. I I make diss records and email them to him because <laughs> I oh, wanted to wow. let him know I was competitive. Right, yeah, right. This is crazy. Right. This, this is crazy. To this is the first Drake. time ever. To Twizzy, and Drake. So, Twizzy, you still got these? No, I don't have them. Oh, they all got them. them. Yeah, he got them. He got them. They just <laughs> not <laughs> releasable. They're not got releasable. Hey, 2K, you know who got them? Tez. Tez got them. Tez, Because I used to diss his ass too. It was Tez and Drake. Yeah, it's crazy. That man he had to get playing. it, bro. Right. <laughs> no, nah, but yeah. that's exactly how it went, though. Like we we knew the um the lineup of how it was about to go down. We knew Drake Drake was coming. We knew Nicki was coming. Right. And it was really like a fight for that next that next runner up. And me and yeah. Tiger just started going hard at that point. Right. Tiger. Yeah. So that's so it's crazy. So like that same situation be the same situation in sports. I promise yeah. you. So it's like. You know, a lot of kids or whatever be watching this, and a lot of time I talk to them, I just be trying to tell them, like, stay down until you come up. Yeah. Like, you're going to go through situations. You just got to keep hustling, yeah. and your time going to come and never know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like even with you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you stay down, you still hustling. You got that avenue. But who's to say that your avenue one was supposed to be TV? Right. So now you in TV. Right. So it's not necessarily like, okay, Twist, he's probably not this. He's not like Drake on the level with music. Like, mm -hmm. he haven't made it that big yet. Right. Although, But he's on TV. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. He spit, of if course. You ever yeah. heard real if Twizzy, you ever heard you Twist know, Twizzy spitting. Really can, he, but, that's, some, easy, that's easy money. Yeah, but sometimes, like, God have different plans no, for you. No, I definitely understand what I'm saying. I was talking to... I was talking to my um, my pastor, man. Shout out to Julian. He was actually he was just talking about that. Yeah. Something about that. Because I filmed in my church. We was talking about it off camera. <laughs> making a little joke. But uh, I filmed in my church not too long ago. And he was uh, basically saying, like, if this is your low, or if this is where you feel like you are needing to crawl back up from, like, look at it. Like, you have a multi-million dollar production filming you. Like, this is, right. uh, this is a great low. Like, More life. So you need to you need to just keep on being happy with what's going on. Cause yeah, of course I I have them times of like damn, if I would have did certain things different behavioral wise or if yeah. or even if the politics, because a lot of shit that's not seen um, that go yeah. on in music stands like stands in the forefront sometimes and get in the way of a lot of things. So sometimes I wish it could have been a lot of different, but you know, yeah. we still hustling. What's, right. what's good about you saying that though is like um, even myself, when you say certain like when you're young, sometimes you're not understanding some of the stuff you're putting out there. Like right. myself, I wasn't like I always talk about this. Like CJ was the reason why he is nominated for the Hall of Fame. He would go into work every day, off days, and would do put the extra work in. Me, I'm taking off. I'm trying to get to the crib. You know, I might go try to smoke a pound, like whatever it might be. That's what. No, real talk. I'm just being real, like. Yeah. But it, you know, that a that whole pound though. He said, "Might go try to smoke a pound." <laughs> oh, pound. Well, smoke an ounce? well, no, you gotta man. think. Once somebody take like, once Twist you with like, me, man. Yeah, with me, yeah. understand. Yeah, yeah. come you on. Think. Twist. No, Twizzy, listen. Yeah. It goes back to this. It goes back to this. When when somebody, in a sense, he took my job, right? So imagine like like Drizzy signs. Yeah. So now you like like you said, it's not just it's a whole bunch of emotions going into this. So now yeah. I'm, I'm not I don't want to be around work. It's probably it's, it's my own doing, but I don't want to be around here because shit. He starting. He doing this. He doing. It. I'm gonna go home. Yeah, like I said, and yeah. smoke. In a sense, Drizzy here. I ain't getting no rep on the goddamn. Y'all ain't y'all ain't. You might call me in here for the studio session, but it ain't like y'all. So I don't really want to be here. Yeah, mine wasn't like that, but I understand. Oh, yeah. I understand what you're saying, okay. far as um, far as uh, like the comparison in a sense. Yeah, like 
want to fall back and not putting in the extra work. Um, I I, und- I understand that, and and that starts to show. So yeah. and I and I also understand that um, we we be the cause of that. Like everything that I've I've dealt with firsthand or anything that slowed up, I I had something to do with it. Yeah. Yeah, and it it took me to grow past all of that shit to open my eyes to realize that I was the problem. See, but that's that's how hard is it to really sit down or look in the mirror and be like, man, damn, I I might have had a lick or I I was there, but in the moment you're not going to pay yeah. attention to it. You yeah, because yeah. we so far gone at yeah. that. That's kind of you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. too far gone. That. In the moment you're not going you're not even going to pay attention to it. You're living on. Yeah. Whatever you living on, mm. uh, yeah. But you know, but the, the thing about it is, you can crawl out of that. And again, yeah, for right. sure, for that, sure. That shit. A lot of people lot crawl stronger. out way later than they should. A lot of people don't crawl out at all. Yeah, I'm thankful that I was able to get a hold of it early enough. Early enough, yeah. Let's talk about that, mm-hmm. man. Cause I remember. Hold yeah. up, but I got a question though. So did the did, did those disc records? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with brother. I want. I want to. No, I'm get saying, it. did Drake ever hit these disc records? Yeah, he heard. And, I'm pretty and, sure he heard. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and did that ruin y'all relationship? No, no, no. no, no. Just probably, that, probably laughing. No, that made that, us closer. It made y'all closer. Then <laughs> yeah. that's what I was gonna ask you. Like, did that make y'all closer? And then eventually, did you understand? Did you understand why they put him above you? Oh yeah, definitely. I I definitely understand it. I understood it even more later on in um my little twist career. Uh but in the beginning I was just so competitive, just wanting to be a yeah. rapper just like he was on Young Money. Right. But I wasn't ready as as much as he was when he when they was giving him the green light. Right. And that's the crazy you say that because I went through a situation like that. Like, I went to Arizona, right? I ended up signing late, at, like, during training camp. And then, so I'm there. They got a kid that they drafted. Yeah. David Johnson. Know what I'm saying? And I'm like, shoot, I'm coming in here. I know I'm better. Yeah. Or whatever. For sure. But, like, in our positions, we got to understand the business yeah, aspect right. of it. That know what I'm be saying? so different. So, like, I'm in here like this and that. Go through the first year or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I have the best stats, this and that. Then we come the second year, and just automatically, he the guy. Yeah. yeah. Like, they filming a show, and they, you know, they go to his house filming him, throwing the dog, the ball, and this and that. <laughs> yeah. They don't come film me. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the season start, he's the guy. Yeah. And I'm just left in the back. But I understand the business side. Yeah. I'm I'm probably 29, 30. Yeah. He young guy, probably 20. I mean 21, 21 22. Yeah. Young, so you know they always puck. trying to go younger. Yeah. yeah. They trying to go younger or whatever and just in that aspect they trying to make they don't know how many years I got left. Mm. Yeah. So they trying to make him the the guy. Right. So of course they're going to Put everything into him, this and that. Something happened to him. We got yeah, me as a backup, this you. and that, or whatever like that. So that situation was hard for me because I'm the guy, man. Mm-hmm. Like, and the reason why I compare it because in my mind is just like, man, I know I'm the guy. He's not better than me, no, this and that. But sure. at the end of the day, once I retired and after, like, I sat you back get clear. and I looked at it <laughs> and I understand the politics of yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? So no, it's for just. Sure. That's just how it is. That's exactly how it's equivalent to rap game. It is crazy. Man, so listen, let's get up into some, you know. I want to talk about my homeboy Bieber, man. Yeah, right up. Bro, how, yeah. like, again, I know you was young back then, but how was that? Because people be understanding, people understand lifestyle. How was what, man? Yeah, but, the, man, well, did you take this. the charge or not, man? No, Come on, man. No, did no, you? No, I didn't take uh, and I I did an interview um, not too long ago, and it, and that that interviewer really twisted some words up. It wasn't a specific charge yeah. that I took for um, Justin Bieber. It was just the charge of saying, you know, I I'm, I I smoke weed. I, he's the one, you know. Right, and, right, right. And his management and everyone knew that, um, you know, it was a, it was a. Uh, inside talk 
to where Twist is a rapper. He's associated with Lil Wayne. Mm. You know, a little weed charge, little that's not that, gonna that's hurt nothing. Him. Yeah. Cool. Like we'll take that off of Justin. And that just got out of hand. I'm a, but how was life though? How life what was, was great. like bro, cause you listen, Deeper I was don't no he, like that's yeah, he trying but, to act but what like, I'm trying know. to say like, is I don't know none of that. Hold on, Twizzy. <laughs> hey, with me. Be with me right now. I'm with you. Okay, so look. I was here. I was in LA, right? I know how it feels to like hang out. Yes, I used to hang out with Snoop. That's that was amazing. I ain't gonna act like it wasn't. I was on tour with Snoop, so I understand life. But bro, to be at your age, right, as a rapper, hanging out with Justin Bieber, because we knew who Justin was back then. Now I'm gonna keep it real. How was it? I'm gonna keep it funky. I mean, how many yeah. bad bitches? No, I'm like, I'm trying. Funky. Was it like you know? What I'm saying? about to keep it funky. Put all it funky. You understand me? So, talk that talk then. Growing up with Lil Wayne. Ooh, we. There's no bigger than that. Man, so so that's what I'm trying to that's man. what I'm trying to get to you real quick. Growing up with Lil Wayne, it was there's nothing I could see more. Like I I seen it all. <laughs> For sure. Um black and white. Like now when I met Justin, Justin was so fascinated with the fact that Lil Wayne is my brother. He had just got signed to Def Jam, uh, and they brought him down from Stratford. I had just got signed, and I came in from Dallas to Atlanta, and we met through a mutual friend, and Justin was just so, like, mind-blown that that was my brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And from there, we just got super close, and and, I, and we both did music. So from that day um we just really became best friends and we was young we was close in age so we we understood each other but outside of that um the question like Justin was a was the closest thing to Michael Jackson that's what I'm saying he was a rock star right. yeah, and, and Justin was the closest thing to Mike that's what I seen I seen I seen everything I shouldn't have seen at the age I seen it at with Lil Wayne with Justin mm -hmm. you was old enough I was no we we, we was teenagers I was still a teenager with Wayne too. My life was very fast, but <laughs> with Justin, it's it didn't slow up, but it became like it was just a bunch of kids, and like millions of kids, and it was like some shit that you don't think about. Like this dude wake up to helicopters <laughs> flying over his house just because they know he worked yeah. out at a certain time. Mm -hmm. It was just some wild yeah, shit. That's what I'm saying. That was a different time yeah. to live in. This is like before social media. I remember I took crazy. him, I took Justin to the hit factory in Miami where, where oh, Wayne and everybody record. And yeah. um, oh yeah. And Justin came and shut the studio down just because his fans knew that he was that. Gonna be there. It was kids driving up from Orlando. They surrounded <laughs> the whole hit factory. Wayne pulled up in his Bugatti. They all outside Wayne Bugatti. Wayne, like, man, go tell your little friend, go record somewhere else, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't never seen no shit like this. <laughs> like, tell him right. go somewhere else, Go man. somewhere else. Them believers, that's, yeah, they, that was a whole, day. like, that's what I'm saying. He changed his generation for him. Like, no, they serious. And he cold, though. Like, you no, he's, you he's, he's, he's you outstanding. can't take away from what he did. Yeah. Mm. No wonder why he wanted to hang with you. You was cold, too. No, nah, for sure. Had the game for sure. We definitely, we, yeah. we, we fed off each other. And that's what's in up. In a lot of different ways. Ooh, but there's... Um, you was, you you wanna, you wanna get on with that one, cause they're yeah, so famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done, yeah. We wanna they say my dog done slid famous. Then smash and dash on a few famous. Ooh, a I few, got but, good friends, hey, America. Yeah, good friend. But before we get in that, you know. <laughs> yeah, before we get in that, you know, I was just wanna, you know, toast to my guy. Yeah, we gotta toast. Know what I'm toast saying? Toast up, young Moolah. Yes, know what I'm saying? Let's just toast in here. Love this and that. Love Before we get into this next question. Love you. Know what I'm saying? That's a layer. Right. So you took that shot. You what's crazy is you must have took that shot because you yeah, got it's something. a setup. You hear me? It's the, a whole setup. Must, this the now you bro, feel my drift. No, I ain't drifting. I don't even like this. You feel my drift. Let me talk to our producers. Put a charge on the <laughs> goddamn real, camera, man. man. <laughs> Are we good? Okay, <laughs> cool. Real, keep yeah, on we good. What's wild is yeah. that when we be at the house, he'll do something like this, but I know something coming up good. So 
I'm, I'm, I'm just anxious to see what, yeah, you, yeah. what you about to speak on, 2K. Yeah, I mean, I just, Fame. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I ain't going to get right into it. I got a question that I want to ask. Ooh. But before I go there, like, I kind of want to know what the, like, what the world is like, you know, being a rapper, Ooh. artist. And when it, because a lot of people in the world, they think, like, yeah, sometimes these rapper, singer, rapper, 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 rapper relationships when it comes to the men and women, they feel like it's fake. Yeah. Or, you know, just putting on or whatever like that. So, what you think about that when people think those type of things? Are they, is it real or is it, oh, what? you know, we just, what is what like, relationship real? Like, basically, I just got when broke up with like two nights ago. So, them wait, wait. Them shit's on. real, man. Wait, who I, I you, knew who? I shouldn't have took this stupid wait, ass shit. Hey, <laughs> no, 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 Twizzy, the rapper. <laughs> hey, they real? Hold on, like, no, man. hold on, Twizzy. No, hold on, I know they real. But hold on, young. Forget that. Who you I'm really heartbroken, and I shouldn't be here right now. Twizzy, so who? <laughs> oh wow. Here? Talk to me, cause you know what's crazy. Young, stop doing it. We talking about Twizzy. Who wifey? Man, I ain't yeah. with that. You know, one day Ooh, he wifey. do say he likes somebody, but that be on live. But then he just be capping. Her name is Maya. She broke up with me two nights ago. Oh, uh, Maya, you can't do Maya, my boy like that. Come baby. back. Come back. Maya, baby. come back, man. Got me all on the podcast come with on, this Maya. shit. Come on, Maya. Don't do my boy like that. Uh, but I I don't mean no disrespect shot. within this next question, Maya. Yeah, Maya. But I have to ask shit. my boy. Yeah, please, Maya, don't tell um, me. You know, <laughs> like when I knew my, my brother, <laughs> like when I knew my brother, and you know most people call people brothers, this and that, but like, Man, we really done hung out, like really yeah, stayed same, in the no, same we house. Flew, we done flew on the done, same yeah, flight. Yeah, same, same flight. Then came, the same man, house, man, like, my came we done to my house. We cooked, like stayed in the same house, like all this together. And when this supposedly was going down or whatever, I'm with my brother, and I never even heard of it. Then no, he never told me this or whatever. But Sweet. I've heard. You know what I'm true. saying? And I don't know if it's true or not. It's, but I, billionaire. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Talk that so I'm saying you you hit Kylie? Or was was it a hit thing or y'all was talking? Dating Kylie, or me and Kylie was great friends. Man. Friends. Okay, okay. Just like, great friends. Like great friends. Great, like, great friends. Man. Great friends, man. We had a lot we spent a lot of time together. Hey, D right. book. Ain't no disrespect. That's Kendall. That's Kendall oh. man. Oh, Kylo, oh, that's Tiger. Kylo, that's yeah. Tiger. Kylo with Travis, Wait, hold man. On, you, why, you two why you yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he two yeah, niggas yeah, behind yeah, yeah, yeah. But hold on. Nah, he backed on You two Tiger. niggas behind. Well, Tiger no, backed on him. Yeah, Tiger hey, backed on him. Okay, okay. Let's get this there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so Tiger backed on you. Yeah, my bad. So Tiger backed on you. I apologize. I was going through something in my life at the time. Uh You know. Tiger, wow. Where they were saying I allegedly got into a... This fight, and I was facing some jail time. Right. So I went from seeing Kylie every day to me um, not talking to her no more at all because I got rid of that phone. I caught myself being some gangster, being on the run. I don't know what the fuck I was doing, but <laughs> right, right. I lost my bitch in the, oh. in the, in the process. <laughs> oh, my God. And yeah, we ain't talk no that. more. And, we, uh, and oh it was God. all bad, man. You know, oh and Tiger stepped in, and this nigga here. Died. Oh How man, that boy is a back? wild boy. Huh? How Tiger's hair grow back? Tiger like that? got money, man. Oh, so he, oh, he yeah. went to like. So I LeBron, don't know. I wasn't there, but I know he got. So man, LeBron Ty- said he's seeing the same doctor as Tiger. I'm gonna tell you that because listen, Tiger braided up. Tori went to the doctor. Oh, oh Tori, 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 Tori. Shout Tori. out Tori. Shout out Tori. Hey, that Tiger, Tiger, you a wild, wild, wild boy. I know. Bro, Tiger, hey, a wild boy. Bro. Why he do you? Like, he had China back man, then. I used to he sing wild. Rack City all the time. I ain't seen right. that shit no more. No more. You can't nope. stand him. I can't stand Rack City. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> Tiger, a wild boy, man. He done bat though. You know what's crazy? I know a few wild boys in Juice that be doing that. I can't same. believe. Nah, man. But you know. I got a few homeboys you know. that would do that. Just because it's your home, home girl. Listen, I got a homeboy. But how so locked in was you like? That's what, like when we asked you, like, no, okay, so, now so, hold on, wait. Yeah, Let yeah. me say something about this, though. Like, okay. No, the story I, gets crazy. Let me I, tell you real before quick. Before you get to that part, though. I okay. Love, I want to put myself in Tiger's shoes, right? 
No, don't do that no, yet. No, no, because not like that's, that. But, hold but, on. But I'm, I'm just going off what you gave us so far. Okay. Because I want you to Because he was tell, on the line being a gangster. No, no, no. But I want him to tell the real story because I feel like he Oh, he's some bullshit. <laughs> so listen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Talk so about if you. I'm in Tiger Shoes <laughs> and I'm like, eh, what you got? Oh, this is just my oh, friend. My friend. My friend. My it's all line. good. So that's what I'm trying to. No, no, Come no. Come on. Okay. Wait. Yes, we're friends. That's my friend. No. That's my friend. <laughs> that don't give him the right. This yeah. nigga's a dog. <laughs> 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 they don't give him the right. You feel me? Because no. the only reason why she was just my friend is because I felt weird at the time. Why? Oh, the age, age. It was you forget that, about it the was age. An age gap. Oh, so you was waiting for her to. How old is Tiger? That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, yeah, get that. Oh, uh, my bad. We ain't got to oh, say sorry. that. So you was waiting until she crossed. I was just, you know, I'm from the South. My mama don't play. Yeah. You, you know. You want to be a respectable man. I act, you know, I was raised correctly. Okay. So, I rocked with her vibe. Personality yeah. is amazing. Yeah. But the age, we just can't do nothing no more than what we doing. How old was you at the time? I was like 18 and she was like 16 and that was okay. really so weird. So you was waiting. To me. Yeah, exactly. So that you was, was waiting. Like that. Yeah. You that was, was waiting. That was but weird. But you know why that's weird to you, Twizzy? I'm going to keep it real. No, because hey, at 16 hey, no, I was if he's in high school, see Twizzy, Twizzy, Twizzy's a superstar. He went in high school. school. He went nine So grade. yeah, so if you was a senior and she was a sophomore, he's would you would have talked that. to her? I, he, if she, that's if I'm a senior. If you was in no, just let's say you was in high school, yeah, right? You and you was a senior in high school and she was in school. Y'all both at the same high school and she was a sophomore. You would you have talked to her? I don't know. Oh. See, I call. I don't. Feel but like it happens a lot of time. I mean, you happens. don't know because you I didn't go seniors, to school. Do you not it happens a lot of time. Dating? Bro, seniors be bringing sophomores to the prom. I seen maybe, seniors being freshmen to the prom. Maybe it was. Um, maybe I need to do the Google because it was something where it was weird. It was like a three year gap, and I just didn't feel comfortable with me You're making right. that because move. she was a freshman and I was a senior. Ain't no way. Yeah, man. Ain't nah, not no freshman, saying, bro. Man. I ain't freshman. But Eighteen, I understand what you bro. They saying. fifteen so listen, years so old. So what then. was Tiger yeah. doing then? How old is Tiger? Tiger? That's why I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to tell saying. you then. So Tiger, older. he three years and Tiger, let me, bro. Tiger wow. older than you, man. Hold on, man. Hold on. Uh, listen, uh, I gotta see. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, something. but like. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, how, in twenty twenty nine. So listen, Tiger. So it was a six year difference between that. That what I'm saying. Seven, yeah, six, but seven. like. I feel like if 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 he wouldn't went missing though, I feel like if Twizzy wouldn't went yeah, missing, yeah, know what I'm he saying? He was gonna stick was around, around and man. but my boy Tiger, he seen the opening. That's crazy. And you know that. what I'm saying? He seen the opening. He went. So I got some homeboys yeah. that did me like that I was back dealing in the with day. some shit, man. I left Nashville with the Titans. Yeah. When I got cut or I got traded, no, I didn't get cut. I got traded from the Titans. <laughs> yeah. I know a few niggas. Creeped hey, in on you. Hey, Twizzy, I know a few partners. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know me, about man. that. So I get it. Tiger, Damn, Tiger. Boy, boy. I ain't Tiger. <laughs> I ain't Tiger. Hey, man. I ain't say Shout you, uh, out Tiger, man. man. Shout out Tiger and that new hairline. Hey, look. That's, wow. <laughs> Bro, yeah, he, life hey. has been amazing in Hollywood, man. That's what I'm yeah. saying. You come from Dallas to Hollywood. Yeah, I know I that's from the hood. Bruh, I know Oak Cliff. Right. Oak Cliff, oh yeah, shout Texas. out my shout out Hoodie Baby. Shout out to Hoodie Man. Hoodie Baby, Trap boy, man. Freddy. Yeah, Freddy. Oh, Trap Hey, Trap Boy. Yeah, Trap Boy Trap Wild Boy. I, boy man, listen, I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> I've been on Trap Boy Freddy yeah, lately, Trap, man. Trap, Trap Boy, nigga, Trap Boy. I've been on Trap. They kind of yeah, scare me though. <laughs> listen, let me keep it. I got to you know me. I'm devil's advocate and I got to do this. It scares me. <laughs> we love rappers that rap. I love right? Trap Boy, but Trap man. Boy on he be on he gonna spaz. I love oh, Trap Boy. That's My what nigga I'm, just got caught in the hood with a tiger. With a tiger, I heard. Yeah, he. Wild. I just got a I, you know <laughs> Twizzy. Oh, you know wild nigga. You know what's even crazy? I gotta ask you this for a second though. With what's going on in the world with these rappers? I do rock music now. I don't know. You I, said you do rock music? Yeah, I started. Oh, you didn't try? Okay, so yeah. are we going to get a... Um, a rock like album? A rebirth, yeah. Like yeah, a, for that, sure. What's up? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to title it Burn. 
Is it gonna be like I already got like eight records. I'm gonna let you hear it. It's dope okay. as fuck, bro. Yeah. It's so it's like Metallica bang or like No 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 no. Um more more limp biscuit. <laughs> limp okay. biscuit like that. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. So but what what would Green Day be considered then? I fuck with Green Day. Is that considered is that considered like Green Day just yeah, hell like, yeah. Green mm-hmm. Day is no, I'm top rocking, forty. I, no, I'm rocking with Green Day hundred percent. Green Day yeah. fuck with me. Yeah, I'm rocking with Green Day. Hold I know on, they love Chris Johnson. From Green Day? What's the yes, dude's sir. name? Uh, Didn't he just get caught uh, or something? What's his name? Pete was Billy Joe Armstrong. Okay, oh, but who's I which one? Who the? Oh Pete. no, one of these dudes just got caught cheating on anyway. Adam Levine. That's, Man, don't, I, don't do that, I, know bro. That, I love Maroon 5. No, I know. But I only say no. that. See, you helped me out with that. I was going to say that because Maroon 5 is one Adam, of it's okay. I just got dumped two days ago, Adam. Oh, wow. It's fine. Nah, but Adam, you hey, listen. Man, you know, one of my wise homies told and me a long will time ago. Be <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> what I've heard, though, yeah. it's cheaper to keep. Yeah. So but, you better tighten up, man. Yeah. I, I, I got to get it together. I'm Get shit to go. I am. But so that's what I'm saying. But I still want your take. I know you done crossed over. But man, no, you know, nah, you, G shit. How Twizzy crossover? No, but I'm just saying. No, I'm growing. I'm growing, Lindell. Let me grow up. I hear what you're saying, but I can't believe Twizzy. My boy got fans everywhere. It don't matter right. I know Twizzy do. Boy, a rock star. I'm saying. What I'm calling right now. Fans. I'm just. I'm so flabbergasted yep. at the fact that you about to be a rock star. I'm not. I don't I, understand it, though. My boy, you, a rock star. Yeah, I've been doing, I've been on that way for a minute, but Tune called me one day, made me very upset, but I couldn't show it over the phone. Yeah. But he called me, he like, look, bro, you know what I was thinking about? <laughs> and I'm like, what? He was like, all that time you was over there with Justin, we didn't take advantage of that shit. And I'm really mad on the other line of the phone. Yeah. Like, bro, you was really mad at me for just traveling and not working as much as I should have been. But he like, we ain't take advantage of that. Them people love you. He was like, so right. I want you to come over here and mess with this rock music. I went over there, did this song with him. Full rock vibe. And I feel very comfortable over there. And now I'm going to make a whole project out of that sound. It's amazing. It's lovely. Yeah. So when Tune releasing this hit? Wayne been working on like a new Rebirth um, Velvet album. He got so much music. Man, that man, he's just doing, he's he so worked, great. Yeah, he worked. It's not a such thing as too much, but he works too oh, much. That know. man works like so much, bro. I like mm-hmm. to see when my dog be He skating. don't sleep. That's like why. That's the only skate. reason why I'll say too much because he'll put yeah. that work before he even, he, he don't sleep at all. Right, right. What Don't I like to see, though, exactly, I like to see know. him skate because to me that's like his football. You know what I mean? That's like his outlet. Like yeah. his outlet. And he's been working so, like you. He's been working since a kid. Since so a like kid. when he do get to skate, to me that's like and no like days off. It. Like no days off, yeah, man. Dope, yeah, he's amazing with that. Right. And it was crazy because I used to, bro. I swear to God, bro. I used to compare myself to to Lil Wayne. Like, like I felt like I was the Lil Wayne of football. Right. Now, that nigga loved you though. Man, Still love you, bro. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all one of the yeah. craziest stories in my life. You, it was two of them, right? One of them was I go to like I'm in Nashville, so we go to the um, concert, bro. It's crazy though, man. You know what happened the night after that? Concert yeah, yeah. Too, we right? go to the concert or whatever, right? <laughs> and I'm like, man. So my assistant was there, and I'm like, man, I want to meet Tunchi, man. That's my favorite rapper ever. You know what I'm saying? So. He you come know, back to the man, yeah. It was. Mike don't even know. I took man. I'm telling you. What yeah, happened. but what I'm saying, he went there and got <laughs> oh. to the what you call it, to the. Oh. I guess the bounce out whoever. Yeah. They take me to the bus, man, and like so I go to the bus. I'm like, man, damn, I'm about to meet Tunchi, man. I'm yeah. gonna meet Lil Wayne, like, yeah. Whatever. So how I'm expecting it to go it went totally different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm expecting me to get on this bus like, damn, you Lil Wayne, like, nah. what's up, bro? Like, damn, bro, I love you. Like, yeah. this shit, no, man, before, when I get on the bus, before fanatic. I can even get a word out of my mouth, he like, oh, you Chris Johnson, you on my fantasy team. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like what? Like, that's crazy. You <laughs> know what yeah. I'm saying? So I go through that, and then another time, man, we in Tampa. We in Tampa, like I tell my mama, like, man, yeah, I'm finna get ready to go to town, finna go to concert. She like, ain't no way you leaving me. It's my mama. <laughs> yeah. I'm going ain't mama's no way. This mama, I'm going too. So we go to that concert, whatever. You know, after all the thing, I used to 
get on the bus or this and that, whatever. We get on the bus, and then, you know, he chopping up with my mama, this yeah. and that, take pictures, and then I'm, not, I'm tripping oh, yeah. a third time. The third I, time I had a Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl party, party yeah. in Orlando, mm -hmm. right? I'm talking to Tunchi or whatever, but I'm like, what you got going on? Is that? Whatever. I'm like, man, yeah, I'm down here, man. I'm throwing this party, this and that, man. I want you to host it, this and that, man. Like, I think I'm the only person ever brought Lil Wayne Came to down. a party for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. He telling me, yeah, I'm coming fuck with you, this and that. I'm rock with yeah. you. And I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. Man, listen, that man called me at, um, he in Miami. Yeah. Man called me at 8 39 o'clock. Like, man, we getting on the bus right now. Yeah. Pull up. He come in there, whatever. I'm ready, getting ready. He like, man, I got you a present. Man gave me the um million dollar rain, million ringtone. So yeah. yeah. Signed it for me. Hanging up in my house right now. My, like yeah. crazy. My, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Solid. Like you. Wayne too solid, man. Yeah. Great dude, bro. Great dude. To be at that magnitude and man and change so many lives. Yeah. At the so, level we at. Speaking of that, then what's up? You a rapper? Who the top five? My top five. Hey, don't give me hey, listen, don't come in here with that. If you don't say Tunchi number one, I'm Hold done on, with yeah, this. But that's how. I mean, I understand why he would say no, that. I understand but why I, I would Jigga, say this. Y'all gotta stop. I don't, don't care. Disrespect Jigga. Like I'm that. not disrespecting Jigga, but if Tunchi ain't I number love Jay Z. One, well, because well, Mr. Carter, he know that Mr. Carter yeah, himself, matter, Mr. Man. Carter boys, they know. Who's my top, top five? Dead or alive, or can it just be rock out? Dead or alive, I think dead or alive. Dead you can or even alive. give me ten because you're a rapper. Them. No, so we like, go. We can nah, I leave Pac and Biggie off? Yeah, Pac, they, they, that's Mount Rushmore. So you can even do you can do your Mount Rushmore, and then yeah, because even Wayne's I'm off leave, that list. I'ma just leave no, Pac and Biggie. Even if you off. do Pac and Biggie, you Pac, Pac, I, I love Pac. Pac, I would, I would choose, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave both of them off real quick, okay, so I can, so I can get to it. Use it. Um, so my number one would be. This, oh, this is order. The top. This is number one. This is okay, yeah, no, no order. Okay, okay, Let's start see, at five. No, no, no. No, he said no specific. No, 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 no. We ain't rocking specific. like that. Are you want to order? Yeah, I want oh, okay. order, and I want you to start from five and go and, and leave number one. Last. He, this Let me man just won. We know Tunchi won. Or right, if it's better for damn. you to just start off at one and go, because I know what my number one is. I'll tell you my <laughs> number one right now. Tunchi. Uh, See, I, I'm Tunchi too, but I'm but I'm also Mount Rushmore. Yeah, no Snoop order. I got no there. order. I got. Wayne. Tunchi. That's the Reverend Andre Three Thousand. Yes. Stacks. Okay, I like that. Stack stacking. That's only two though. Two. Drake. Yeah. Hold J. on. That Jay? Jay. Jay. Okay. Jay. Jay. Jigga Man Jay. And, uh, yeah, Jay Z. Yeah, no and, um, Birdman. My <laughs> I love my Uncle Stunner. My Uncle Stunner, number one shit talker, right. cash, <laughs> money spitter ever. Uh, but number five. Fuck. I'm pretty sure. So we got, we got, we got Jigga. We got um, Wayne Tunchi, Drake. Drake. We got on stacks. We got three thousand. We got three k. We got one more. That's that, and that's rough. And you already got Biggie and Pac out of there, so you good. Yeah, I'm, I'm debating between two right now. Hmm. I want to know: Are these two new, or are no. they still old school dudes? No, I'm an old school dude myself. I just look like this. I I <laughs> like the young guys. But they not really, they yeah. not really, they not really like giving me what I grew up on. And all right, so no, nah, I got, all right, I Let respect that. Five. Yeah, I gotta get, get the five. five. You got one more. So my five. Can I? Can it be a tie? Yeah. Jada Kiss and Kanye West. Oh, nice, Bro, nice. I knew you was that, gonna go yeah. Jada. Yeah. Hey, side note about Jada. It's crazy because, bro, like the same way you know. People be knowing you, or you want to be famous, or however, you, however you feel about it. I remember me and Young was in New York one time. We coming out of either a restaurant or was it a strip club or something? something like it that. was something, and we're walking out. No, the true story. We walk out of this thing, and as soon as we walk out, guess who we run into? Jada. Man, he's like, 
smash she and said, dash. She said smash and dash. What up, niggas? You know what I'm saying? Right. And I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, Jada? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know. <laughs> you know it was incredible to me. So no, like, you saying Jada, though, that Jada. I, I can respect that. Okay, so I'm not. We got to stay a little trendy with this. I got to see, because I don't like how you just, I know you a new, a old school soul. I know you with me, but bro, who the top five to new Tina school? Turner and shit. Who the top five new school? You don't listen to no new school? Why I be? do. I, I listen to it on the passing, and I respect all of them. Yes. Because, of you know, they, they, they helping their families out. Young, who your top five then? Top five what? Rappers. Yeah. Rappers? You, of all time? Yeah. And Lee Wayne out. Thank I can't. you. No, the, the Wayne. Bro, I can't. See, you know bro, hey, to, listen. You know why I can't? Hold up. No, no. You, you know why to. I can't? He's, he's Mount Rushmore. You, you, gotta you know, know why I can't? Hold up. Lil Wayne is the greatest. Bro, right. Lil Wayne is you the greatest. You know why I can't? Why? Because I'm a Wayneyac. No, no. We all Wayneyacs. That's like my father. We all not Wayneyacs. I feel like it's disrespect to Tunchi if I don't put him in my top five. No, what's disrespect is these people... Throwing around the word goat so freely. Freely. As Everybody if, is the goat. As if my brother not still rapping like he He's rapping. Goated, I mean, so I'm only, trying to see. There's really three goats rapping right now. Who is your three goats? Wayne, t- it's Wayne, Jay, and Drake. Yeah. And for me, free slime. But, but, on, I, but, but. If I give mine, when can we gotta I, go down, I, I, when I we gotta to go down right to right the now. very end. Yes. I, Wayne is the best lyricist. Man, out of lyricists, everybody. no matter. Out of Wayne, hey. out of Jigga too. Yeah, I'm going everybody. Wayne. I, I'm going to everybody. I love, I love you, Wayne. But I, I'm a if Wayne. If I'm gonna give my five, but Jay for sure. Tunchi is number one. Okay. Two. Number two. Better not say Boosie either. I'm going Drake. All right. Drake. And Boosie, I love you, but. Number three. Thugger. Thugger. I knew you were gonna say that. But Thugger changed, bro. Thugger. Changed. I love Thug. Thug became a great guy. Free right. Thug. Free Thug. Um, he changed some stuff. That's what he did. That's exactly what he did. He changed it up. He's very, uh, he's iconic. Yeah. Right. I I can't say nothing about your top five, but he's iconic. Because yeah. we're talking about right now. That's no, no, we're talking about rap. Oh, yes. see, oh, he talking about all time. No, I'm talking about rap. You talking about top five rap art, period. You say, I get him. So you, he's saying you putting Thugger. I'm talking about. I'm putting Thugger over rap. who, though? Like, he's talking about bars. That's yes, why I'm because we, all right, the reason why I say Thugger, because he say put that little baby on ice. <laughs> the normal person gonna be like, wait, but a little baby on ice. Yeah, okay. No, for I'm real. a thief in the night. Yeah. Yeah. My niggas Put a little oh, baby on ice. Right. Right. Uh, uh, I'm not right. gonna uh, play uh, with you uh, like that. Right, stop playing. When it come to me, come on, bro. Yeah, so nah, look, but let me finish. But, okay, like, you're, okay, you're right. But I know the because thug story. I, we but a lot, huh? yeah, but a lot of people, you know, they talking about bars like thug give bars. Why you be rapping? You know what I'm saying? Then I'm a four. <laughs> four. I'm going future. I see. I, just, I, I have can't to do go. this show. Why like, not? I love all of them. <laughs> But I love rap so much. He's yeah, because I'm talking about, about just a pure. Like yes. I love rap he's so much. Lyricist. Kodak, like, but that's what I'm. Him. Yes, he and does. I've been listening. But to no, Yat. but the reason why. Yeah, been uh, the, rapping. Yeah, yeah, been, been rapping. Yeah, been but all those rappers, you can put them like. Sometimes you look at these rappers and they they say certain things and you might think is like. Simple one shit until I, you really look into no, it. But see, I that's give, why I'm trying no, to tell you, Jay Z. I give you yeah. with Future and Jigga. Thug specifically. Yeah. They, them two, they do something that nobody else can do. Like that's yeah, what they got. So if sure. that's why they in your top five, yeah, they in their own lane. They that that's perfect because right. they they didn't they do something like a sound that is totally it's different. Yeah. It's so different. if that if that's the reason of just originality and just new f- yeah. pop and shit, that's great. Right. Wayne, but I was like, really because, breaking down like yeah, yeah breaking down Wayne, like Drake, Drake, Future, no Thugger, Thugger, Thugger Future, Future, and Kodak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the reason why I, you think yeah go harder than Kanye West? Oh man. See, but see, it's just you like know and you know the reason why I say yeah no he from Florida no but it's a different see vibe. but it's different because like when you speak about rap. 
That's what you do. So you in tune. When we speak about sports and football, That's you may have lost. some favorites more than me, but I understand football I, more than you. Yeah, so I to like I might Troy Aikman. like okay. <laughs> so listen. So the same thing. You probably couldn't tell me much about Austin Eckler. Austin Rivers. You get what I'm saying? Oh, Austin Eckler. My He's point for the um San Diego or the uh, LA, San, Chargers. LA Chargers right now. So, right yeah, now. yeah. So Shout when he but, but, from no, Colorado. but Shout out yeah, there. but w- so when he speak about Rapping. Kanye, yeah, I know Kanye more of from um fashion. fashion. Yeah, you have like you know what I'm saying? And like he's graduation. Deeper, no graduation. Yeah, that was cool. He but I went listen to that man. He I'm trying to sound boosy boo. Yeah, but what I'm saying sure. is you like, saying? That's but it. certain rappers you can break it down and get real into it. Like, and when we come about football, I can tell you about Austin Eckler, and you can tell so, me about that. Well, so tell me about Austin. Is he all right? Yes, Austin man. Football. Austin is, is dope. Like, fantasy football. He's a, dope, especially he's, in fantasy. Like, what do you he does? Running back. Run it back. Oh, okay. And he does. Is he thing. better than uh, Debo Samuel? Debo Samuel play receiver. Oh. In a sense, but they no, was making him play running back. Yeah, but he's no, he's not. I can keep it real with he's you. He's not, but it's Debo different did, though. He, they are different. But, but he, when you do rankings, Austin, yeah, but but when you love Debo Samuel pissed me off. Yeah, but he played too good against the Cowboys. Oh, the Cowboys. I mean, the Cowboys. Relax. Yeah. So you hold on. Speak. Yeah, yeah. So if we gonna so get on that, so yeah, about, like, who, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk, talk to us about by the Cowboys. Like, yeah, like who's your, you? Are you a real Dallas fan? Yes, I'm so a real a Dallas fan. fan. I'm who's a real Cowboy fan and a Maverick fan. Who's their quarterback? Dak Prescott. No, 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 no. Who? Dak Prescott. That's your guy. Are you rolling with him? I like Dak, but <laughs> who's your guy? I love Tom. Tom Brady. I like Dak, but I love Tom, but. Who's your quarterback now for the Cowboys? Dak Prescott. <laughs> See, what y'all don't realize is this man's out of control. It's seven All right, weeks, I don't know. Seven week Cooper. Bruh, rush, bruh. But you what told is your me take you, you on just it? said you like him more than that. No, I didn't say that. Okay. Dak, I didn't say that. What I said was, I'm mad at Dak for even. <laughs> Let this him even come up. Yeah. Not even like that because everybody deserves the opportunity. He can't help that. He can't help that. But why he, he get hurt on the first fucking game? Like, what is you doing, bro? What you doing in the off season? This is why you to where your let. thumb ain't strong enough. Nah, that's like, just free. That's injury, why you gotta bro. y'all gotta love. That's like, free injury. I can't lie. Yeah. You can't blame it. It's free injury. Uh, it happens to a lot of quarterbacks. They. That's Yo, why even in practice, you can't that, touch. Hey, that's why they say in practice, stay away from the quarterback because when you. Follow through, yeah, your finger might down. hit the helmet of the. But did y'all it, see, did y'all watch that game? I did. Yeah. Why was he playing Tampa like that? Bay. I don't know, but that's what I'm saying. What you think your problem is with your Dallas Cowboys? Jerry World. Don't talk about your Jerry. problem. Uncle Jerry got to retire. Don't talk about man. Uncle Jerry like Uncle that. Uncle Jerry got to retire. Uncle Jerry uh, retire. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm from the city. I'm going to make this clear right now on this on this perfect platform to do it. I'm from the city, so I'm a diehard fan off of that alone. Right, right, right. And when I look up trying to root for the city off of that alone, I'm always let down. And I don't like to be let down. Yeah. So it really just puts me in an angry place to talk about them when I really don't know what I'm talking about. But I just need them to win. It's been 30 years. It's been relax, a long time. Relax. Bro, yeah, what's your team? Who your team? I'm a Tom Brady fanatic. So whoever, You wasn't always a Tom Brady yes, fanatic. Yes, I had always been. No, you wasn't. When he was drafted in the 80th well, round? No, when he was drafted he in the 60th round. He wasn't not in. No, you're right. You're right. I was a Marshall Marshall he wasn't. Fan. He wasn't. I know he wasn't. No, I'm a Dion fan. That's The reason why I know it's been Uncle 30 Dion, years. Shout out to my Uncle Dion. The reason why I know, right. The reason why I know it's been 30 years is because I was a Dion fan and when he was playing for Dallas. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So it's been 30 so you years. Jumped, so what'd you do? I'm a bandwagon. I like to win, man. I, ain't I don't want to. We're going to do that finished interview. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, you yeah, can't finish the finish interview it. with just him. What I'm trying yeah, to tell you is this, Twizzy. Dallas ain't good. It's been 30 years. Dallas you is good. Dallas is Stay always going to be good. That, the Mavericks is good. The, Dallas the, the Cowboys yeah, is good. The Stars is good. So you're happy Every with you happy with the Cowboys right now? No. Dallas don't. I'm not. I'm not happy with him right now. I wouldn't be happy with Jerry Jones and buying all this talent and to lose every year either. Let's call it like it is, bro. What talent? Him buying? No, we need a Mar- he, What happened to Amari year. Cooper? Thank you. See what I'm saying? Jerry, what happened to Amari? Why we lose him? Jerry let him, let him go. He let him go. He said, hey, I'm going to let you go to but Cleveland. But you know what? 
No, he That's what they do down there. I don't see? know what the fuck the billionaires doing down there. Mark Cuban did the same thing. Who? When we won the ring. But you gotta. You, there's no he let won the ring and he got, got rid of Tyson Chandler. He got, got rid of everybody. Nigga, we didn't get lucky. Hey, Twizzy, stop playing. What did you tell His favorite about? player, LeBron James. There was no way he was that, that Dirk was really supposed to win that. Dirk came from way down within and did his thing. There's no way. If we're being honest, Twizzy, stop playing. There's no way in, in real life. Boy, this nigga sound crazy. There's no 2K. You tell me right now, Dirk Nowitzki with Tyson Chandler, JJ Barrera, and Jason and the Jet Jerry. That's my dog. They're supposed to be Ray Allen, Chris Bosch, Dwayne Wade, Dirk Nowitzki. And, and and LeBron James. Bro, listen, it's Dirk. Dirk is the greatest he's a power for it. No, he's one. We've ever seen. No, Timmy D. Duncan. Don't you Tim ever do Duncan, that. Duncan, if Tim Duncan <laughs> was ever... on the Mavericks, and Big he Ticket. wouldn't have them fucking rings. But don't do that to Big Ticket either. Kevin Garnett. Kevin Garnett, shout out to Kevin Garnett, but fuck out of here. He's not Dirk, nigga. But you sit here and you can tell me that Dirk's better than them. Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk better than KG. Dirk Nowitzki. He's better than TD. Tim Duncan? Dirk is the greatest power forward. That's that 214 Ever. Dallas shit coming out of him right Bro, now. Bro, y'all crazy. Matter of fact, listen. Are y'all crazy? Does Tim Duncan have more points than, than Dirk Nowitzki? No, he has more rings. Listen. Victories <laughs> matter. Listen, listen. What do you do it for, Don't young? be rude. Listen. <laughs> Don't what, I'm be saying, yeah. what I'm saying is... If Tim was on the Mavericks, yeah, he would have those rings. No, the fuck yes, he, he would, would. not. No. Tim Duncan, put Tony Parker bro, with Dirk. Gotta... Put Tony, Dirk, Manu Ginobili, and all them niggas together, and Boris Diaw, and watch, watch what Dirk do. Dirk gonna have seven goddamn rings. No, no, sir. We had niggas LeBron like James Nahara. Co- you got Kobe Bryant out we, there still, and LeBron James still. So we won a ring with a nigga named Brian Cardinal. Yeah. Brian Cardinal from Stanford, the tree. I we want He's a, a sharpshooter. We want a ring with a nigga named the janitor. Brian Cardinal. He was a sharpshooter. Dirk Nowitzki is the greatest power no, forward. You got to talk to him. That's LeBron James. You fan the right hater. There. My no, bro not. ain't really said nothing. He's a LeBron James fan. He That's beat fine. LeBron. That's fine. He just took that like a man. I ain't. You over here starting shit. I just yeah. don't he took think, that loss. I like just a man. don't think, in my personal opinion, he's not better than. He I is. love Dirk. But if they're yeah. they're all three, the they're all one A, one B, one C. Can I just ask one question? No, I don't. I'm not going. I want to know. I want to know. Like basketball is about scoring, right? No, like, right, right. That's, but I'm saying, like, how do you win the game? You score. have to score. But you got to win score. championships to win games. But I'm saying you have to score to win a game, right? But Twizzy, that doesn't Dirk work here. Has that the highest. Work. He is the top number seven on top ten scorers of all time. The reason why Number I respect seven. him, he did it his, yeah, that's he, respectable. He did it himself his whole career in Dallas, he never. He that's did, respectable. He, off, he never teamed up. He didn't. Chase. He never teamed up. You're right. He never teamed he never up chased. for a ring. LeBron. Off one leg. He never chased. Right. He didn't. He, so. He yeah. didn't go from Cleveland to Miami to the Lakers. He didn't Come on, bro. You taking shots now? Oh, my bad. Come on, God. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Yeah, shout out to the king. Man, yeah. Shout out to but the king. But how many Dirk got? He got one? Dirk got it's one. It's shiny as a bitch, though. Yeah, Y'all ain't but what I'm saying is if my shiny. boy... But listen, if Brandy was happy with one, he could have just stayed with one. LeBron, LeBron, listen. LeBron did his thing. LeBron's right. never been mean to me. But I'm saying, no. Yeah. LeBron's never been mean gotta to me. You got to get off so that Dallas train. Back away from the Patron. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your real team? Now, now that we got the that Mavericks, Dallas Cowboys. I ain't going to lie. Okay. But now we got that Dallas Cowboys. Oh, football? Football? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to ride with the Cowboys, but... Um, I love Tom Brady, Tim man. The base. He likes yeah. Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah. So this is what I'm gonna do, man, because you know we've been at home rocking all type of stuff. Before we wrap this up, I just got one serious question that I want to end this with. All right, <laughs> don't do me that. <laughs> I want to know what is your top five running backs of all time, or oh, right now, man. current, whatever. Give me your top five. Right now? No, it don't have to be right now. It could be all 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 time. Whoever you like. It could be all time. Why y'all just told me? I thought Debo Samuel was a running back. No, he is. He, he plays no, everything. he plays. He plays everything, but he's receiver. He plays. Uh, he's a like a um what a utility. But Debo would be. Uh, I like Debo right now. I just like the way he runs. 
All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We ain't well, gonna ain't even do you like that. that. No, yes. We're gonna do you give me give me your top five players right, right now, because I know you say Tom is yeah. so just give me your top you five players. We ain't gonna stick with running back. No, 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 no. Tell me the truth. No, D Boy, no, he don't stand, he that dude. I just want you to give me your top five players. Ever? Ever, right now, whatever. Yeah, just, just whatever. I don't together. care. I'm just put it that. together. Top five football players right now. Uh, I like Brady. Brady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Edward, Eugene Brady. Brady. <laughs> I like... I like Tyreek Hill. <laughs> yeah. Cheetah Man. Yeah. I like... Um. Oh, I like um. I like Patrick Mahomes. He's Gangsta. from Texas. Yeah, yeah. He's from Patty, Texas. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. Texas. He does his thing. I, I, I gotta eat my words about Patty. He's uh, crazy. Who else I like? Shout out my nigga Vaughn. Oh, yeah, yeah, shout out my Super Dallas. Dallas. He from yeah, he from Dallas. No, he from DeSoto or DeSoto, down the street. DeSoto, Texas. Okay. Yeah, shout out Vaughn because they, they try one. to write Vaughn number, off. Number five. This last one. And the best, the best motherfucking football player that the only football player I've ever kept up with. <laughs> yeah. And it's my number one. I guess I went from five to one. Yeah. The Hall of Fame of Chris Johnson. <laughs> That's yeah, sir. I, I'm my mama. Yes, yeah, sir. As y'all can see, America, I didn't really know how to answer that question because I watch football like when I have the time. Yeah. Um, thank God that this legend right here took me in as a little brother as he has. But um, yeah, I, this the only nigga I've kept up with football wise in Tom Brady. <laughs> Chris Johnson, Tom Brady. If he ain't them, yeah, you out of there. Talk to me about rap and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Can we, can we get a favorite Young Money tour bus? Well, own tour story on the way out. Who, please? Your I favorite? Hear this. Yeah, something. I need something juicy though, bro. Like New York backstage or heading to the hotel, Atlanta, Houston, Vegas. What up? So many stories. Dade. So many stories. I know stories. there's so many. Okay, we got so oh many stories. I just um, need a juicy, nice story. Let me see. On tour, hotel, y'all had a room. What's the? Didn't y'all go on tour when it was like the when Drake, Drizzy, all y'all, everybody? Yeah, we else? always out. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, y'all know, uh, y'all know Trail. Trail, it was Tiger right here, yeah, man. Exactly. He be on No Jumper. Exactly. The true. host. Um, we was having a BB gun war on on tour. What? <laughs> on tour one day, everybody oh bought BB. I have playing like that, right? Okay. See, you oh, smart okay. man. <laughs> what? Everybody <laughs> bought BBs, and how Wayne, this nigga, didn't play fair. Mister Rich Ass Tunchy, he would beat us. He would leave the city. Let's say we in we got Houston and Dallas. He would leave Houston before we even got on the bus in the morning. Yeah. Already get to Dallas. Buy every gun and fucking pellet out of Dick Sporting Goods and send us a picture of him in the middle of a gazillion bullets and shit. <laughs> and anyway, we had this whole BB gun war and it, it became so serious to where we had to walk through the hotel lobbies like watching our back, checking into the room, yeah. have your pistol on you. Do not get caught lacking. And one day we was at the truck stop and... um. Wayne was up on the tour bus in the back of his bus, and once people found out that was Wayne's bus, they was coming to the bus, and he was on his studio bus at the time. Yeah. And he came out the window trying to talk, but the rules was don't get caught lacking. Every day, yeah, ain't matter. no time off. Yeah, yeah. it don't matter. Wayne up, Wayne up there taking pictures with fans from on in, in the bus up top, people <laughs> down there <laughs> just standing up beside the bus. Trail, stupid ass, come around Wayne bus with this BB gun and just light the window up while Wayne <laughs> taking pictures <laughs> with these kids and shit. He just shot Wayne in the eye. Wayne come on our bus and tell him how he gonna kill everybody in his family. <laughs> it went bad, man. We had to put the guns down for a minute. We thought he was gonna die the next day. It was bad, but yeah. 
<laughs> we got a lot of storage, bro. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to tell. I'm trying to get my woman back, so I ain't gonna tell yeah, none of the yeah, women's story. Yeah, you ain't got to tell too trying much. Fuck me up yeah, out here. I got you, bro. <laughs> but man, you know I appreciate you, man. I love you, big bro. Twizzy coming Thank you on for here. having Twizzy me, man. With I appreciate me. It. We on the with sm- me. Always yes, with me. You know. We on yes, the Smash and Dash podcast. Twizzy with me. He's gang, with gang. me. Dash. Yeah. A smash, whatever you want to call him. Fame, he like to dash say or smash. dash or whatever. But man, this was a real one. In you Dallas. dig? Yes, in Dallas. Don't yeah. forget my boy Dallas. Can't be. <laughs> you dig?